Hey everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install MultiMC on Windows 10. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to MultiMC.org. I'll leave a link in the description and go to the download and install here on the left side of the page and then choose your Windows version here and download it to your disk. All right, I'm using Chrome. It's a zip file, so Chrome won't give you any warnings or anything about it or whatever. And of course, it's a clean file. All right, uh, but you also want to be sure that you have Java downloaded and installed. So I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Um, and you're most likely going to want to get the Windows offline 64 bit version. All right. And you want the offline instead of the online because the online will install 32 bit. All right. So you want the offline 64 bit if you have a 64 bit system. I'll also leave a link in the description that gives you a little bit more information about that on the MultiMC wiki. Okay. In case you need that. But download that to your disk as well. Uh, and it comes down as a exe and again it's signed and all that so you won't have any problems with that so be sure and download that to your disk and install it all right uh, you're going to need it for multi mc so the file that you download is going to be this mmc dash stable dash win 32.zip okay you need to extract this so uh when you select it, you will have an extract option that appears at the top of the window here, okay, in the in the Windows anniversary update or whatever. So you can select extract there, or you press the button and extract all, right? And it's going to ask you a, de a destination for it. So we can extract it into the same folder, show extracted files when complete. We can extract it there. All right, so it's going to do that. It's going to take the zip and turn it into a regular folder. Now, since we had that show the files open, then it it displayed them for us. OK, and there is the multi MC application folder. All right. So what it did is inside of your downloads, it created this MMC stable Win 32 folder. All right. See, this has a zip extension. This is the folder. All right. So we want to open it. And go ahead and collapse the window here and we could take that multi mc folder out of the downloads and place it somewhere on our desktop or whatever so drag it on your desktop now that folder is empty and so you could delete it there's nothing more inside of there so i'm just going to delete that folder and then i'm done with the installer i might as well delete it too the zip file okay here was your java it'll come down as whatever version so run that and install it all right um and you can tell where your Java is or if you have it installed by typing Java in the Cortana search bar here uh, and it'll tell you if you have a configured Java then you already have it installed you can get some information about it you could also say Java W uh, which is the actual executable of that and it'll show you right here uh, where that's at Java W run command you can right click on that and choose open file location okay and it'll take you to where it is so common files oracle java java path all that all right just to let you know that it's installed properly that you had it you don't have to do that but you can if you want to all right so here's the multi mc folder that we got it has the application in it and all the stuff that's needed including the exe do not take anything out of this folder at all it needs all this stuff okay uh, and here is where there'll be a folder that's added uh, for your instances once you install it all right so now you want to open it and you want let it through windows defender smart screen so click the more info button right there and choose run anyway all right it's fine it's a clean file and all that all right, now we're going to select our language. So I'll select American English, but if you have a different language, then select that. We're hit next. Now we're going to select the Java that we installed. Okay. So if you don't see it, hit, you know, run an installer. You didn't install it properly if it's not in this window. So run the installer and hit refresh and it'll, it should come up again. Okay. If you did not see Java in here, guys, you did not install it properly. All right. So. That's the thing. Now you can go ahead and set what basic memory that you want. Uh, by the way, that was where we browsed for that Java 
W, that's where I got it before, so you could browse for it and find it there as well, all right? And it'll tell you if it's okay, if, the, if it's okay job, that path is okay. And you can set the amount of memory for multi-MC, that's a global setting, I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, generally, for vanilla, uh, the newer vanilla, you're gonna want at least two gigs, okay? So 2048 uh, for newer versions of vanilla. Then you just hit next. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the analytics and stuff. If you wanna enable them, I suggest that you do. Hit finish, all right, and it's gonna give you the multi-MC window. So multi-MC is now installed on your computer, all right? And now you could just create an instance by right-clicking or add instance up here and create a new instance. There's a 115.2, I could create it. So I've done, now created 115.2, all right? Now, our settings here, is a global setting all right so the memory setting uh is under minecraft right here uh, well no actually that's not true it's under the um java right here okay so there's the ma minimum 204 to maximum 2048 that we set all right and then there's our java path if we need to somehow change that we can auto detect and find a different Java, okay? Uh, use the recommended one basically with the star by, all right? Um, and again, so that's how you set your memory, that's how you set your Java. And if you're gonna do modded, you're gonna want, you know, depending on how big the mod pack is, but four gigs, six gigs, eight gigs potentially. And you have to have 64-bit Java to have more than 1.5 gigs, all right? So that's the basics of how to install MultiMC and Java on your Windows operating system. Hope that helped you guys. If so, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more MultiMC videos. This is Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.